Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be showing you what's in my freelance makeup kits. Okay, so this is what my bag looks like, like kind of when I bring everything in. This um, big main box right here is from Amazon. So I have a few things on top I'm gonna go through um, at the end, but I just wanna show you so in case like you're wondering. This right here um, is my little glow products, body glow. And then I have some loose lip products. And then I'm just kind of throwing these off to the side. I have my little brush belt right here, which is empty right now because I have all my clean brushes. It's really old. I love it and I will not get a new one unless I absolutely need to. And then I also have a little um, brush folio if I'm doing more than one client right here. Start with the little top compartment. So there's a compartment right here, and then there's also a compartment underneath. Okay, you guys, so this is what is on the inside of my top compartment here. The only thing that sucks about this part is that it does not have any attachable strings. So this kind of just like flops everywhere. So you kind of have to be careful when you're setting it up if you're working out of the top section here but let me go through it so i have lysol wipes right here i just carry a small one just because it's easier to um like keep in there than like a big ass tub you know what i mean and then i have makeup wipes my favorite are my <laughs> my favorite makeup wipes are the mac makeup wipes literally any ones that you use i like to use these um in case i do like a swatch on my hand or the client's hand so that they way they can see like some colors you just always need these like on hand so i'll put both of those right here and then the next little compartment right here i have my disposables and i got this container i think i got it from hobby lobby you guys if you guys are looking for like organizing organizational stuff for your kit go to hobby lobby and they always have like a or michaels if you guys don't have hobby lobby where you're at they always have like a 50 percent off coupon i always like set this up down like i'll put a towel down and then i'll set this up and open this and just keep this open during the whole time i'm gonna try not to um tip it over so starting right here i just have little applicators i like to use these um to apply lash glue to the lash to like any lashes that i'm applying i have plastic um little scooper outer guys um just because i like to use these if i'm doing like um like if i have a pot eyeliner i like to take this scoop it out and then apply it onto my little petri dish or anything like cream bronzer anything that you can't be like double dipping into i have silicone and bristle type mascara wands very small q-tips i will leave these link down below because i know you guys are going to be obsessed with these these are really good for like fine tuning um, clients makeup as well as just regular q-tips right here so i'll just keep this in here and i like that this locks in because it's really hard to spill although i did spill this whole container like three days ago it was my first time ever but this is for my dirty brushes i got this off of amazon it's really small and compact but you can fit so many brushes i could do good two client like two full clients and this thing will be full but i mean two clients in this tiny little thing it's like so compact and small i love it and then i only use this for my dirty brushes zip it up and then obviously like, i'll take it home and then wash my brushes like where i need to so i keep that there and then i also keep a bag with tissues in here and i keep tissues this is almost gone because i just had like a whole week of clients so i have to restock it um but i like to keep tissues because i like to um wipe products off i keep everything sanitary and tissues are a lot softer on powder products than paper towels are if that makes sense so i like to use tissues to keep everything cleansed so the next thing i have are three little well two of them are zuka pouches and then this one right here is just like a random like one that i probably got at like ulta as like a free gift or something right here so this one right here just has all of my lashes i have um some of my lashes for my brand doso Dos lashes here cecilia and josephine are my most popular and then i'll also have some ardell um these ones specifically are the 420s and then i'll have just like a bunch of random ones i also have individuals in there and i really just fill this to the brim and make sure i'm always stocked on lashes because lashes are like my favorite part and they can make or break a look so i have this guy right here and then the next one we have this is my little skincare pouch this is a zuka pouch and you guys i love these are so sturdy and they're so cute like come on this is like the makeup artist freaking bag right here and i don't know i just love it they're really sturdy it's never done me wrong and i love that there's like a clear top so okay so the first thing that i have in my skincare pouch is this little it's kind of like a face halo this is like a knockoff one but i like to have this because i love my wishful yield glow enzyme scrub you guys this stuff is so bomb this is a chemical exfoliant it's waterless you don't have to use any water with it which is really good for like on the go you know like makeup clients and stuff like that i'll apply this to the 
the client skin, get them all nice and exfoliated. I will wet this either in the sink or I'll have like a um, water bottle. I'll spray this and just wipe off their face with this. It's so much easier than using like a makeup wipe or a paper towel because this has little, it's kind of like microfiber. So it just picks up the um, dead skin and excess product really nicely. So I love having these two in my skincare kit. And then just some must-haves. I love the Wishful Thirst Trap um, juice. This stuff is so bomb. It's really light and hydrating, and it smells really good, and it's I think it's like almost halfway gone. I use like three pumps of this on each client. It's so, so good. It's a must-have for me. I have Tatcha Luminous Lip. I have the lip conditioner from MAC as well as Fast Response Eye Cream. This stuff is so good. This has caffeine in it, so it'll instantly depuff as well if you mess up any eyeliner, even like Inglot number 77. If you use this with a Q-tip or a brush, it'll erase it immediately. This Fast Response Eye Cream is a must-have for sure in my kit. So this one right here is a mini of the um, True, what is this called? This is the Moisturizing Eye Balm from Belief. I love the original moisturizing cream, so I wanted to try this out with my clients and see if I like it. It's really nice and hydrating and it's not greasy at all. I used it on my last two clients and I liked it. I will always top off the eye cream application with this Tula Glow and Get It Cooling Brightening Eye Balm. I love this. All my clients love it when I put it on them. It feels kind of like a cool breeze under your eyes and it really just de-puffs and wakes you up. Love the star jelly from Huda Beauty, as well as one of my favorites, all time favorite primers. This is the Vitamin Enriched Face Base from Bobbi Brown. It is literally almost completely gone. This is a small version, you guys. I try to keep the smallest travel size versions in my kit just because I'm a little girl. I'm literally like 95 pounds. So hard for me to carry my kit already by myself that I cannot, um, my back cannot afford to handle anything heavy. Nano Blur. This stuff is really good. This is from Indeed Labs, I believe, yes. And this is just a extreme pore filling product. This stuff is really nice and it dries almost immediately almost to like a silky matte finish. And then in my last little Zuko pouch right here, I love this container so much. This has all of my shimmy stuff in it. This is kind of like loose eye products. I have lash glue, glitter glue. NYX glitter glue is my all time favorite glitter glue. Even just to a even just to apply like a shimmer shadow, this is the best. I use the Clear Dual Lash Glow on almost everybody unless they have a latex allergy. I also have the dark toned one, which I typically don't use, but I have it just in case like I ever need it. But this one never fails me. I love this stuff and it never lifts in the inner corners or irritates my eyes. So that's why I love it so much. Okay, so I have Stila Kit and Karma right here. This is an OG. This one's super glittery. It does come off a little bit more silvery on the eyes. And my favorite one to use is MAC Beam Time, you guys. This is like a rose gold shimmer. You can see it's almost gone. I use this on a lot, a lot of clients. Um, this one is just so beautiful on the eyes. It looks good on almost every single, no. On every single skin tone, it works. Obviously, on deeper skin, it's going to be a little lighter. And then on lighter skin, it'll be a little deeper. But I have never seen this color. I've never seen this color beam time look bad on literally. This is the House Labs um, Liquid Shadow in the shade Legend. This is a very yellow toned glitter eyeshadow, you guys. Let me kind of like get up close so you guys can see. This is so beautiful. I'm going to insert a picture of, um, I used it on my client recently for Halloween. And it is so beautiful. This dries instantly and it stays on all night. That stuff is amazing. These ones are a little bit more creamy. So you kind of have to be careful and make sure you use not too much of them. Then I have all three of my pigments from Dose of Just Lashes. You guys didn't know, I own my own lash brand. I make pigments. I have Platinum Blonde, which is a champagne with a green shift. Dream House, which is translucent with a pink shift. And Plastic Fantastic, which is super popular. It's also champagne, but it has kind of like a pinky blue rose gold shift. It's stunning. These are basically like shimmer bombs. I love these and my clients, like when they love sparkle, this is something that I use on them and they're obsessed every single time. So this one right here is Plastic Fantastic. This is my favorite one. I use this a lot, literally almost every day with NYX Glitter Glue. And this is stunning. I'll probably insert a picture so you guys can see what it looks like on the eyes as well. And then, I, you guys, like I have so much stuff in here. These from Ulta. These are stunning. I have, um, this one right here is called Silver Leaf and this is called Rose Gold Leaf. These are wet eyeshadows. Like if you guys are, look, look at this. 
Look at this. This one is called Silver Leaf. If you guys are looking for a wet eyelid, this is it right here. But these need to be used with the glitter glue, otherwise, they will just fall out all over your face. But oh my lord, like this one right here, I actually broke. This one is super pop. You guys see, you, I know you guys can see how pretty that is. This one right here is rose gold leaf. It is so stunning on the eyes, like a shine that you have never seen before in your life. I have um, some of my favorite eyeliners. I have Inglot number 77, the blackest, most waterproof eyeliner you will ever use in your life. Inglot 77, get it if you don't have it in your kit. I have MAC Dip Down, which is just a really dark brown, super creamy eyeliner. I have two of the MAC Paint Pots. I have Painterly and Soft Ochre. These ones are really nice if you have a little bit more like oily eyelids because it gives you a lot of coverage. So if you guys have like veins or discoloration or anything like that, these paint pots will give you coverage, but they're not super creamy. So they won't leave like creases in your eyes. And soft ochre is a little bit more yellow. I'm sure most of you guys are freelance makeup artists, but if you guys can see that there's literal dips coming out of the product right there. That's because I'll use disposable um, scoopers, scoop it out and put it onto my Petri dress. I'm dish. I never go straight in from like the blood, the brush to the product, to the client. You cannot do that. That is not sanitary. So if you guys see like huge dips out of everything, that's why. And then I have also, this is from my brand, Just So Just Lashes. This is called the Glitter Stacky. This just has a bunch of rainbow glitter. You never know when a client wants a pop of glitter. And these ones are just my favorite. Obviously, I hand pick them and mix them myself. So I know that these are fire and it's super travel friendly. Love those. I have Dose of Colors Shell, which is one of the prettiest pigments. I'm sorry you guys that I'm taking so much time on this, but I'm so passionate about like shimmer on the eyes. Look at this, look at this. So this is the bottom one right here. Again, this is Dose of Color Shell. And then on the top, I don't typically use the top part, but it's kind of like, it's the cream version of that pigment that we saw at the bottom. So this is really pretty and it's super compact and cute, love that. I have two special shadows from MAC that I love to use. These are duochromes. This one right here is I like to watch. And this is like a green to brown shimmer. This is really pretty for somebody who wants like a pop of color, but doesn't typically go for color. This is beautiful because it just at it's stunning. Literally one of my favorite colors to sell when I worked at Mac. And then this one is slow, fast, slow. This is kind of like a pink red to like copper brown shade. This is also really pretty for people who want a little bit of color kind of scared. So I have that. I also have KVD white cream liner as well as the Suva liner in the shade Space Panda, just in case, because you never know. Now moving on to my palettes that I keep right here. So this is eye and I think a few face. So this is like a netted little zipper area, which I love because it keeps everything nice and tight. I try to keep as much stuff in each area as possible so nothing really jumbles around when I'm driving, when I'm like lugging it up elevator, stairs, whatever. Just try to keep everything nice and tight and down. So we'll start with the first thing right here. I have the original Jaclyn Hill palette. If you guys have not seen this, this is an OG. I don't use this too much, but I always keep it because I know if all else fails, this has my back. Got that one. And then I have two other eyeshadow palettes that I love. This is my custom MAC palette. Just put this little paper towel on top to keep all the shadows nice and in here. So these are magnetized to the palette. Some of them are taped. Um, just because they're like really soft, but I like to keep this paper towel on top So that way they're not just like jostling all around when I'm driving and traveling So again, these are all MAC shadows I think this one right here and this one are from Anastasia, but other than that these are all MAC We I love this. I obviously used to work at MAC So these were single shadows that I used all the time and I just kind of like curated it into one beautiful palette So I have a little bit of warm tones cool tones all that good stuff But again, this will never do me wrong as well most used palette. I love Anastasia shadows. This is the soft glam palette right here I love this palette. I use this one on almost every single client beautiful formula pigmentation is amazing gorgeous stunning I don't really use the shimmers. Uh, that's what I I have such a big collection in my like small little Zuka palette right there But the mattes normally what I go for in this mulberry shade looks good on almost everybody a mini Natasha Denona. This is called the mini nude. This is again, just like a staple palette to use. These shimmers are stunning, like otherworldly. These are beautiful. It's really nice and compact. I have the Danessa Myricks light work palette. This is a highlighting palette right here. It's stunning. Danessa Myricks, it, girl, her stuff just gets it right. You have a huge range of highlighters in here and they are 
girl when they are on the face they are just so so beautiful and this pinky one is stunning sorry this one right here is actually from an over palette i just put in there because i love how bright that color is but we have um peaches melba raisin fleur power I cannot remember what this color is, that little baked one, but can you believe that I depotted that into there? Okay, and then this is the second compartment right here. It has these little guys, so it, everything stays up. You don't have to worry about it like flopping back or flopping forward. It's literally your station in one right here. So let's just start with this top part right here so I can just kind of go over everything. I keep all of my eye, a little bit of brow stuff up here. So I have two, well actually I have a ton of different mascaras, but I have the Essence Lash Princess. This is the waterproof version, as well as one of my favorite mascaras. This is the In Extreme Dimension Mascara from MAC. And I love this mascara, it's seriously just a classic. It's almost all gone, I have to get another one. And then going right next to it, I have some eyeliners. I have, okay, so this first one I have is Teddy for MAC. This is like a deep brown with shimmer. This is really good for, um, for like if you wanna put it on the lash line and smoke it out, it looks stunning. It's just, everybody needs Teddy in their kit. I also have Feline, which is just a super dark black coal liner. Really easy to smudge out, but once it's smudged, it stays in place, so I love that. I also have All Night from Morphe. This is a deep plum shade, and then I always need a nude color, just in case somebody wants a nude in the, in the waterline, instead of... Okay, guys, sorry. Quick intermission, because my dog just tore apart a bunch of masks. This lash primer from Essence is so bomb. I love this stuff, especially for clients that don't like to wear um, false lashes. It is rare, but I do have some that don't like to wear it, so I like to really like bulk up their lashes with the lash primer per first and then go in with a mascara. I have two different types of eyelash curlers. This one right here is from MAC. Love this one. It's really nice and strong and gets a really good grip on the lashes. I also love the one from Shiseido. It's a little bit expensive, but it's totally worth it. I also have a tiny little lash curler just in case. There's like stubborn lashes on the sides. Two lash tools. I have an eyelash separator right here. I don't often use this, but I have it just in case um, the opportunity presents itself. Cause I would, I'm one of those people that like, I need to have everything just in case because like, what if, you know what I mean? I also have this little lash tool. This is used to um, shield, like shield the client's eyelid. So you can really go ham on the mascara. I have two different types of crystals and rhinestones. I have iridescent clear ones, also like A, B and colorful. I have these clips right here on the side to keep the client's hair out of the face. You need these in your kit, you guys. I know we're makeup artists, but I promise you they're gonna show up with hair in their face, guaranteed. So get you some of these right here. And then I'll just sterilize them with um, like alcohol and hygienic spray after each use so that way I can use them again. I have two primers. I have the P. Louise Huge huge bottle this is the rumor number two it's almost gone love this very very full coverage you can use this to cut a crease cut a brow use it as an eyeshadow primer literally anything also have mac um 24 hour eye base i did have a little bit of a pink explosion but this stuff is really good it's a clear eye base but it is so so long lasting for anybody who is extremely oily on their eyelids i use this it is like I said, it's clear, so it's kind of, it's a little tricky because I'm so used to using um, pigmented eye bases, but girl, this one, get this one, it will last them all day long. Like their eyeshadow will not come off with that. I have a clean eyebrow razor. Whenever I use one, I'll just toss it out and then put a new one in here. Super inexpensive, but I love to have these just in case. I have two, this one right here is the High Brow from Benefit. It's kind of like a pink um, under brow highlight sort of situation. NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And I have a few different eyebrow pencils. I have Morphe, Benefit, and Rare Beauty. I don't typically use eyebrow pencils. I like to use brow powder, but I have them just in case. I have two more mascaras. I have a clear one from Maybelline, as well as the waterproof from Maybelline. And then I have three different brow gels. I have the MAC Brow Set in Clear, which I love to use. It's kind of like a medium hold. It's a Maybelline Brow Fast Sculpt. This is in the shade 255. I believe this is the lightest shade. This is kind of just like a blonde mascara. On girls, this makes such a difference. If my clients have blonde brows, I put a little bit of this in and it really seriously like defines each brow hair and it just 
on another level, on another level. I also have the Anasta a mini of the Anastasia brow gel. I feel like in our kit, you guys, we always have some things that are just like so random, and this is one of them. I love this. This is the ColourPop um, Clear Feather Effect Styling Wax. It's basically just soap brows, but it's really small and compact, so I love how it's so tiny. I love to use this on clients that have more stubborn brows, and yeah, I just use a disposable spoolie with some water, and I love using that. So the first two things that I'll always do, I'll take out, I have my hand sanitizer. This is from Touchland. The specific one is the Frosted Berry scent. There's tons of different ones. I honestly got this one because it's pink and it's cute. And then I have my portable charging fan. You do have to charge this, so I have to remind myself like every few clients to charge it, but it goes up pretty strong. So anytime I spray something on their face, I will immediately, I'll have this in one hand and I'll have the spray in this hand, spray it, and then immediately start drying their face. And it's such a good experience. People love when I do that. <laughs> and I love doing it because I feel like I'm like pampering them. So I have these, I will put these off to the side um, just because they're there. Now, the other two things, just to get out of the way, I have my hygienic spray right here and I have alcohol. I have these out with my disposables, those two things on my towel, just because I'm constantly using these, cleaning, sanitizing, everything. So I always have these, make sure you have some sort of hygienic spray. Um, you can get it on CameraReadyCosmetics.com. That's where I get a lot of my stuff. So this one just happens to be pink. I think the other one is like clear or blue. So right here I have all of my MAC foundations. I got these containers at, um, I cannot remember. I think I got them on Amazon actually. They're really small. They're plastic. They're squeezable and they are really tight. So I love that they, I've never had an issue with these like spilling or squeezing out ever, literally ever. So like these are my most used colors right here. Just so you guys can kind of see it. I know when I watch, obviously I have every shade in between. I can literally make any color with the stuff I have in my kit. Um, but whenever I watch makeup, here, I'll show the colors. Whenever I watch makeup kit tours, I always wonder like what are their most used shades? I know it's like sometimes can't be helpful, but I'm just curious and I'm nosy. So, oh, Match Master Shades from MAC. I have 7.5 and 9.0. These are amazing because they adapt to the skin tone. Not crazily. They still have to be in the same skin tones family to like adjust. Like you can't be like 10 shades lighter than this and then assume it's going to match to you. You get what I mean? But the Match Master Shades are so bomb and they look really beautiful on in the formulas amazing so right behind it i have my disposable sponges i love to use these i'll use this corner right here to bake for the nose contour and under their bronzer just to sharpen up a little bit and then i'll toss them away moving on here we have some powders so the first two powders that i have I want to get all of them because these are like my favorite powders to use. So I used to use Max Studio Fix powder and then I found this and these are holy, holy grail, you guys, I'm telling you. So these are from Beauty Creations, $10 each. I have the shade 11.0. So this is 11.0 right here. And then I have 3.0, which is like a neutral lighter shade. I definitely get a, need to get more shades because those shades are like so random next to each other, but I love these flawless, super long lasting, filter and a powder stunning highly recommend those i actually have a whole tutorial where um first review where i tried this out on my channel so if you guys want to see it i have two of my most used bronzers right here it's so obviously this lighter one right here is give me some this is the one i use the most and then i have dark deepest over here these shades are just so beautiful they are skin like they glide on the skin and they never look patchy or dry on anybody Love these, a must have in my kit, definitely. I also have two of the Charlotte Tilbury powders. I have shades one and two. One is my most used, as you guys can see. Love this one right here. I haven't used two as much, just because sometimes it can be a little bit dark, but I have it just in case. Then coming up, this is like kind of random, but this is like where everything fits in my kit. I have the Jaclyn, what is this called? Luminous Rouge Blush. This is in the shade Love Language. I'm gonna open it and show you. This is a loose blush, but it is so beautiful. It gives such a radiant, stunning finish to the cheeks. It is absolutely beautiful. It doesn't have shimmer or glitter, but it has a sheen. So it really just makes you look super healthy and I love it's a little bit messy it's a little bit hard what i'll do is take a tissue and i'll dump it in the tissue and then take my blush brush and kind of swirl it around till it's evenly coated on the brush and then apply it on their face i have th four of my most used shades from the anastasia brow palette um i believe this is soft brown medium brown dark brown and auburn if i'm not mistaken these are the brow products that i use on my clients
have the shade 3 Tan Light in the Glowish Bronzer just because it's a little bit more of a neutral bronzer and I like to have my options. I have two of the Hyper Real Foundation from MAC. What are these shades? I have Gold Effects and Brown Effects. I love to mix these in with foundation this basically this one right here is kind of just a white with a golden glow and this is like a bronze like a tan with a bronze glow stunning to mix in with foundations if they have like a drier skin type or they just want a more glowy finish i'll mix it with studio fix and stunning because i use studio fix on almost every single person unless they have like an extreme breakout reaction or they prefer not to use it this looks good on everybody as long as you prep the skin right like if they have dry skin really prep the skin for studio fix looks amazing will last all day long if they have oily skin even better because this is made for oily skin but looks amazing it does not have flashback it is just an og product like studio fix foundation is the og it will always be in my kit i love this favorite setting powder huda beauty i have specifically right here this is the shade pound cake this one is most universal um sugar cookie is the one that's a little bit lighter than this but on a lot of skin tones that's too stark so i have this one right here and i do have a few darker shades but this one right here is just my most used i will have i also have ben Nye luxury powder in the shade banana somebody's a little bit deeper i'll take pan pound cake and i'll mix in um a little bit of the banana powder and it's beautiful and stunning this ben Nye powder is so soft and luxurious i love it and then for a little bit of brightening powder i have the essence brighten up in banana again this is super soft gorgeous i don't use this a ton but i have it just in case i have a super um fair client and they need a little bit more of a brightening effect and then I have two blushes in here. This is Fox Glove and Honeysuckle. So we, this is from KBD Beauty. So this one right here is Honeysuckle. It's a little bit more of like a peachy nude. And then Fox Glove is a little bit more of a rosy nude. These are just staples. Honestly, I could probably have just these two in my kit and everybody would be happy. Almost everybody would be happy. Super creamy formula. Love these completely matte shades right here. I also, ironically, have a Jeffree Star um, Supreme Flo Frost highlighter in the shade Snow Globe. This is so beautiful. On I use it like on the chest and on the body. It is straight translucent gold glitter and it looks amazing. Right in here, I have some setting sprays. My favorite one as of lately is the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. You can use this before and after the makeup application, which is typically what I like to do. I have my, this is always holy grail, Urban Decay All Nighter, mini size because it's easiest in here. Girl, listen to me. Um, okay, first of all, I um, cleaned the outside of this with some alcohol, so it kind of came off a little bit. But if you guys have oily skin or you want your makeup to last an obscene amount of time, you have to try this setting spray from ben nye it smells like mint like literally smells like mint and it kind of like cold i don't want to say burning but it kind of feels minty when you spray it on the face but this will make your makeup last all day long this is an og product as well and also for drier skin types i have my huda beauty glow cocoa i like to use this before and after the makeup application doesn't really matter um but just do know that if you use this after, it is not a longevity spray. This is definitely more of a hydrating spray just to kind of like bring the life back to your face. I have my favorite. This is the Glowish multi Dew Skin Tint. This is in the shade Zero Light 3 because this is most universal for me. This is stunning to mix in with foundations, um, use as a primer. It kind of is like the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I have my Dior highlighting palette. This one's a little bit more subtle. Love this, looks stunning. I really only use this shade right here. I'm not gonna lie, this golden one, um, but it is really pretty, I like that. And I feel like clients love to see this when I bring it out, they love it. These are my cream blushes from Makeup Forever. I love this palette so much. The main colors I use are this guy right here and this really pink one. I will mix those two together for almost every single person, unless they're deeper or lighter. I can kind of like literally create any cream blush with this and it has such a gorgeous like dewy finish. You guys can probably literally see in there and it's so compact and small. I love it. I love this. This one makes me so happy. I have this contour kit right here from Black Radiance. It has a super deep contour bronzer and highlighter. So I always have this in here as well as my little deep potted lipsticks. Almost every single, actually every single one of these is a MAC lipstick. I don't use this as much as I should, honestly. Like I'm not going to lie. I probably couldn't even remember. I know for sure this is Flesh Pot, Honey Love, 
and I cannot remember what that is. That's Ruby Woo for sure, girl. This palette, I mean, I depotted and I was so happy depotting it. And it's so gorgeous and stunning from the back. But I really just use my singles more often than I use this. And I just added this guy in here. This is Aphrodite from Huda Beauty. Stunning highlighter. It is very creamy, so I have to use it like with my fingers or warm it up. But it's beautiful and I love to have it in here just in case. Okay. Now, right back here, I have my Bioderma Micellar Water. Love this stuff to remove makeup maybe that the client has left over, mascara, whatever. I have my Shiseido cotton pads because these are the softest. Love, love these. And I have my lip mask that I like to use on all my clients. This is um, from Fresh. It's the mango scent. A lot of people love this. Um, if they don't like mango scent, I do have another option that they can use. But this one is super thick and creamy. And if anybody has... Um, like dry lips or anything like that i apply so much of this at the beginning always at the beginning and then by the end their lips will be so juicy and plump that if they had dead skin i can literally take a q-tip and kind of just like roll it over their lips and all the dead skin will just come off i know it sounds so gross but i never use exfoliators i only use this and it has never done me dirty love her I have a little bit more foundations right here. I have some of the Huda Beauty foundations. These are a lot thicker of a formula, a lot more full coverage, but I do love them. So, so these are the four shades that I have from Huda Beauty right here. Love these. Again, super full coverage. If somebody likes super full coverage glam glam, I use those. I also have two of the Huda Beauty sticks. I have vanilla and shortbread right here. These are a little bit um, less full coverage. Then moving on, I have my little, this is a Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder container. But as you guys can see, it says RCMA. My RCMA no color powder in here. All time favorite, favorite powder to keep in my kit is RCMA no color. I also have a mini of the Ofra Rodeo Drive. This is all, this is again, is like, it's not universal, but it is. You know what I mean? A lot of clients look good in the shade and it's a mini, so it's nice and easy to keep in there. Next thing, these are my stars. Love these. If you guys have um, watched my videos, you guys know I love the RCMA cream foundations. I use them as bronzers. So I have Shinto 3. This is Shinto 3, which is the lighter one, and Shinto 4, which is a little bit of a deeper one. Shinto 3 is the one that I use the most, as you guys can see right here. And here is Shinto 4, just so you can see it's a little bit deeper right here. These are stunning, full coverage. These are meant to be foundations. You're supposed to scoop them out, mix them with some sort of medium, like um, a mixing medium, a moisturizer, whatever. And it'll it's supposed to give you like super flawless full coverage, right? But I use these just by themselves as cream bronzer. I'll scoop it out, put it on my palette, um, kind of warm it up with my brush and apply it on their face. And it looks so, so bomb. And they have so much coverage to them because they're meant for like, tv sort of like production stuff so if anybody has like acne scars along like their bronzer line and it tends to look patchy because of that i love using this because it'll literally bronze and cover at the same time another thing that i cannot go with without my kit like i need those boom girl we're moving on next we have concealers i have tarte shape tape which is what i use most often honestly on almost every single one of my clients these are my favorites i have porcelain beige fair neutral and medium sand Fair Neutral is my most used shade. Love these, such full coverage, creamy, gorgeous, and with the amount of prep that I do under the eyes, this always looks flawless on everybody. So I have those right here. I also have MAC Pro Longwear because how could we be freelance makeup artists without MAC Pro Longwear? I have NC42, NW15, NW25, and NC45. You can also mix these with foundation um, to make it deeper, to make it lighter. You can use these as foundation by themselves. They do come in a pump, so I love that. They're super sanitary, easy to use, full coverage. Love, love these. These are a little bit more of a newer addition. These are the Catrice, let's see, True Skin High Coverage Concealer, Neutral Fudge, Warm Spices, and Cool Espresso right here. So these are a little bit deeper shades. I can use these on deeper clients or I can use these as bronzers on lighter clients, but this is a gorgeous, full coverage, more radiant concealer. So I have those two, bomb, bomb, bomb. And last but not least, this little section right over here. So this is a little bit more prep. We have MAC Prep and Prime. This is in the shade Bright Forecast. This is just a pinky highlighting pen. I have the Peach Corrector from LA Girl. And then I have Inglot Duraline, which you also need in your kit. If you guys have um, the Inglot number 77, you need this as well because that eyeliner dries out so fast. This will bring it back to life, literally bring anything back to life. 
And if you have loose pigments, this will turn it into a liquid shadow and you only need a tiny bit of it. A mini of the Aqua Bomb Jelly Cleanser from Belief. I like to keep this, this is, a, um, this is a facial cleanser. So you never know what you're gonna be presented with the day of glam or whatever. If somebody needs to wash their face, like you can't just wipe it off with like, you know, the micellar water. I always have this just in case. This is just a good gentle moisturizer that they can use to just cleanse and be completely naked to start. Um, where I got these containers down below as well. So I have my Dermablend sunscreen. Um, sunscreen for obvious reasons. This is a facial sunscreen. I have my Embryolis matte moisturizer. This stuff is bomb. If they have oily skin, this is it. This is all they need. It will keep their oils at bay all day long. Then I have Skin Base for MAC. This stuff is just OG. I love it. Super smoothing. Gorgeous on the skin, great primer. I have Exuvian's Matte Primer, which girl. Okay, this Embryo Lace Matte would be their moisturizer. And then if they're super oily, I would put this one just in their T-zone and this sucks out literally any oils that they have. No oils are getting through if I use Exuvian's Matte Primer. Promise you, promise you, I promise. I also have a stroke cream. This is in the shade pink light just to add a little bit of radiance and my favorite most used moisturizer is Embryo Lease Log. Girl, I'm not going to try to say it, but you guys know most used kind of smells like old lady, but it's gorgeous, gorgeous. It feels luxurious on the face and even use it as a hydrating mask. Um, on the face if they're super dry so you can put like a ton of it on slather it on leave it on for five minutes Maybe do their eyes then wipe it off with like um, some micellar water and this will do wonders to the face Boom got these guys on top right here you guys are probably most interested in my lip kit right here Also got this off of Amazon has a really nice sturdy zipper and it's never failed me either Now this is what it looks like Hopefully you guys can see. So I have my eye, my lip liners honestly just laying in the middle there because it's just the best way that I can do it. I'm gonna share with you guys my most used lip liners. So these ones right here are a little bit more um, pinky red lip liners. I have Huva, Ginger, Zippy, and Backseat Love all from Morphe. Love Morphe lip liners. A beautiful shade that looks good on a lot of people. I also love Sugar Pie. This one is a little bit deeper, again, from Morphe. This one's a little bit deeper in shade, a um, little bit more brown with a red undertone, but not too deep. I have Honeymoon, which is a little bit more brown-based. Sugar and Spice from LA Girl, which is a must. Love that one. Whirl from MAC, this is gorgeous. A lot of people like Whirl. This is kind of like a Your Lips But Better shade. Definitely more on like the pinky purple side. I have Iconic Nude from Charlotte Tilbury, Bite Me from Morphe, Makeup Talk from Morphe, and then KKW Nude 2 right here. This is a deep brown liner that I love. Here, so honestly, this is not on my lip products, girl, but this is just like my most used stuff that I use. Like I need this to do, to create like a gorgeous lip on somebody. So right here at the top, I have MAC Prep and Prime. This is a primer for the lips, love this. It moisturizes conditions and makes your lipstick last way longer than it normally would if you didn't use it. I have A La Mode from NYX, Coco K from Kylie, which is like a super pink lipstick. KKW Nude Lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury, Nude 2 from KKW. And then I have two glosses. I have Nude 1 and Nude 2 from KKW. This one's a lot lighter. This one's a little bit deeper. Two liquid lipsticks from Oprah. We have Sao Paulo and Revive. A liquid lipstick from Give Them Lala Beauty in the shade Send Nudes. Here on this side, I have some lip glosses. I love the Peaches and Cream lip glosses. You guys, if you have not tried their formula, it's so gorgeous. Full coverage, thick, creamy, pigmented. My most used shade is this one right here. This is in the shade Cherub. This is, I believe, one of the lightest shades that they have. It smells fruity, like I said, it's thick, but in a good way, because it'll last the client a long time. This is like that beautiful nude lip that everybody wants. This is the gloss that I use on them. And then the shade right here is called Babe. This one is a little bit more pink. This is really pretty for um, weddings, like bridesmaids and stuff like that. And then I have my favorite glosses of all time from MAC. These are lip gloss. I have Oyster Girl, All Things Magical, and Bow. Oyster Girl is like a beautiful gloss. It has a little bit of like a pinky sheen to it. All Things Magical is your lips but better, but better type of color. Love it. And then Bow is gorgeous on deeper skin girls as like a nude. This color is stunning on my deeper girls. Um, this formula is, again, super thick, 
glass literally like the name of it is lip gloss and girl i'm telling you like your lip gloss will last so freaking long with these mac lipsticks right i here. love body glow so much i think it's so important it really just pulls the hair outfit makeup everything together all-time favorite must have if you guys have got glam by me guarantee i have probably used this on you this one's empty so it's really dirt like literally there's nothing left in it i could like throw it at the wall this is scott barnes potty bling in the shade platinum this is a little bit lighter his original one is deeper a rose gold shade this stuff is so good you put it on gives you an instant tan shimmer you look plastic again i'm gonna insert pictures of some of my clients wearing it so you can see they literally look like a barbie doll you could get the trio of all three of his colors in minis um if you guys are freelance like traveling artists you guys can keep all three in your kit it's a good idea i just have a bunch of different formulas so have is this is danessa myricks in the shade goddess this is basically the deeper version of the Scott Barnes one, except for this one isn't as doll-like. It still gives you that gorgeous highlighted effect, but just not as plastic Barbie doll. Radiance, this is their lightest shade in the shade Opalescence. I got this for my Fair Skin Beauties. It is stunning, but honestly, it really just looks like MAC Strobe Cream. I maybe I don't I'm not sure if she has different formulas that are more shimmery more like more kind of like this that I'm looking for um let me know if you guys have tried any of your other colors in their bomb because I am not impressed by the shade opalescence it literally just looks like lotion on like I could use my Nivea lotion and get the same effect as this brand give them Lala Beauty actually sent this over this is called the Starlet Skin All Over Body Glow. I believe this is in the shade Venus, if I'm not mistaken. Stunning. It is a more of a dry formula, so you kind of have to work faster, but it doesn't transfer. So this stuff is gorgeous. It doesn't really cover up um, imperfections as much. It definitely gives you more of a glossy glow rather than covering up imperfections. But last two things that I have, to, I have to be careful with these. I will wrap these in some sort of protection when I'm traveling. I have, because these are glass, I have the Patrick Ta. This is in the shade A Dream. And this is a body oil. So when you spray it on, you will literally feel like physically oily. And if you sit on something, like it will transfer. So I always remind my clients about that. But this gives such a gorgeous, sparkly, oily shine. And it smells so good. Like, so expensive. Again, this one is the mini right here. And then, oh, one of my favorites. I use this in a TikTok and so many people were asking. This is Bronze Utopia Nymph Body Drip from, from Huda Beauty. This stuff smells like... Oh, it smells so good. This smells like their perfume in the shade, um, in the scent Utopia, and it's a gorgeous bronze shimmer. So if I have a deeper clients or somebody wants to be a little bit more tan, I'll use this and it will instantly glow them up. So I keep these in this little bag. Learn something from this. Leave any questions you have down below. I will answer them for you. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one.